let me walk you through how to record your screen and yourself at the same time. Hi, I'm Sarah Nguyen and on this channel, I help you grow your business using video on social media with ease. I get a lot of questions on this channel about how I record my content, particularly screen share and include myself as picture in picture at the bottom. So let me walk you through how I do that right now. One of my favorite tools for recording my screen and the camera at the same time is Loom. And they actually are an extension that you add to your Chrome browser and they're so easy to use. They've got some free plans, they've got a business plan and enterprise plan. If you're a teacher or a student and you're in education, you can use Loom for free on the education plan, which is really, really handy. So I've got Loom installed here and a browser tab that I want to record. What I would do is I would click on Loom, then it brings up all of these options. So I can record the screen and camera, which allows me to record my screen and my face. I can record the screen only or the camera only as choices. I can also choose between the microphone and also the camera sources that I want to use and a couple of other settings here, whether you want a countdown or to show the recording time as well. And once you're ready, you simply click on start recording and then it will ask you to confirm the screen that you want to share and then you would click share and there's a countdown. So now it's actually recording and I can see myself here on camera and I'm rec recording the actual screen. If I click on the actual camera, feed of myself, I've got the ability to change the size a little bit. So if I click on the next one in, it makes it a little bit larger. And if I click on the largest one, it's quite large. It will go into this massive size into the middle of the screen and you can toggle between the sizes as you need. You've also got the ability to pause your video as well if you need to take a break from the recording and it will literally pause it so you can come back to it and then you would click on it again to resume it and it will continue to allow you to record. And once you're ready, you would click on the finish recording button, which is this little tick icon here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then what happens is it opens up this page, which hosts your actual recording. And what you can do is you can share a direct link to this page. So this is fantastic for clients. This is fantastic if you're trying to demo things to other team members. It's a great tool to have where you don't actually need to render anything. It's all done for you. And you would literally click on copy public link and then paste the URL and send that to whoever you need to send it to. They've got some basic video editing ability here. So if you click on trim video, you'll see that they will open up the option that allows you to um, trim the actual video. And it's quite um, basic, but it does essentially give you some, you know, things so you can trim parts of it. Um, quite easily and then save it. So it's not massive. It's not a full suite of video editing, but it's enough for you to trim, you know, the beginning and the end of it and then save it. So really minimal work on your behalf. And then you've got the ability to have a video that has your actual face and the screen at the same time. Ecamm is the other software that I really love to use. And I use it a lot, particularly for all of my live streams, as well as a lot of recordings as well. And it allows me to add myself as a picture in picture, allowing me to record my screen and the video source at the same time. And the beauty of Ecamm is they also allow you to change the shape of your picture in picture. So I've gone from a rectangle to a square. I can also do it in the beautiful round little shape here. And it just gives you that versatility versatility where you can record it and then you can also move it around particularly if it's hiding that particular software that piece that you want to feature you can move it out of the way and you can also resize it as well so you can drag it around and resize it so I absolutely love Ecamm Live and how easy it is to add yourself as a little picture in picture source and to also record your screen at the same time. And the beauty of it is that you can do this when you're on a live stream, but you can also just record it directly to your desktop and then edit that later using a video editor. So Canva is another option that allows you to kind of record your screen in terms of the presentation that you have and your camera at the same time. So after you've gone into Canva and you've created your amazing presentation, what you can do is you can go in to use their present and record option. And then this will allow you to open up their recording studio. 
and you get to choose the camera source and the microphone source as well and then you would start recording. There's a bit of a countdown and then what happens is you, this section here is what people will actually see. So you would talk, you would present, you would go through all of your slides. You can also pause the recording if you need to. And this will allow you to go and take a break and then come back to it and then resume the actual recording as you continue to present all of your content. And then once you finish, you would click on end recording. And what will happen now is Canva will upload this presentation with the recording of you and then you have a link that you can actually share out and whilst you don't have this as a video file you can probably find other creative ways to actually get the video file but for the most part you've got a link that you can then share that people can see as well and once people open the link, they'll be able to see your presentation that has your little camera source here, as well as all of the content that you presented. And it's a beautiful little video that you can use to communicate and present with. ScreenFlow is one of my favorite tools for recording my screen as well as my camera at the same time. So this is ScreenFlow open. When I'm setting up a new recording, I would choose my desktop, which would have the screen there. I would choose the video camera and also the audio as well. And I would click on the record button. And then what will happen is you get a bit of a countdown timer and then it would start recording. Now, after you've actually recorded, you can end the recording and it will open up the file in the video editor. So I'm going to open it now. And you can see here, this is the screen recording that I just did. There's the camera source there and there's the screen content there and ScreenFlow also lets you change the shape of the actual video so you can make it round as well and you can crop it a little bit which is really handy but it's so easy to record your screen and your camera at the same time and you can resize it and move it to suit what you need to do with your recording. If you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, where I do lots of social media tutorials, live streaming training, and we have a lot of fun. And let me know in the comments below, what content are you creating? I'd love to know. And in the meanwhile, why don't you check out my live stream tutorial playlist or grab a copy of my Facebook Live cheat sheets. It's a super simple guide to get you up and streaming on Facebook Live, even if you've never hit record before. To get your hands on them, simply click on the link on the screen now and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.